Hello there everyone and welcome back to another day of learning. We are going to waste no time with introductions because if you're here, you know exactly why you're here and that is to learn a little bit more about Google Classroom. We are going to focus today on how we can add assignments. <laughs> All right, so far in our Google Classroom series, we've taken a look at how we can sign up for Google Classroom and how we can create and design um, our very first classes. Um, if you are not up to date on the series yet, you can take a look at things and catch up. I will provide a link in the cards as well as in the description for where you can find the rest of the series. So um, at this point, we already have our Google Classroom set up and right now it's a little empty. We have um, invited students and co-teachers already, but there's nothing for them to see yet. And so what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to the classwork page and you can find that in the tab up right in about the center of the page there. Um, and what you will see is a button with a plus sign that says create. This is where you will be able to um, access all the different types of assignments that you can post to Google Classroom. So if you click on this button, you will get a drop down menu of the different types of posts that you can have. Um, I always start off with topics because this helps me to be able to, uh, to organize where my uh, different assignments are going to be going. So let's start off with that. A topic is not a specific assignment, it is an organizational tool. All right, and so we can start off by choosing a name for our topic. We're gonna start off here with getting started. Let's add that. And you'll notice that we have um, our topic right here and it also um, posts to the side here so that you can get a quick glance at all the different topics that you have. So since we only have one, we just have one listed there. Um, but something else that you can see here is that when you do have topics posted, students aren't able to see those topics unless there is actually a published assignment underneath them. So on your end as a teacher, you will be able to see all the different topics that you have. Um, but if there is no published post underneath the topic, students will not be able to see that. All right, so let's try out some of the different types of assignments that we can see. Um, the, the first one here is just a regular assignment. Okay, so if we click on this, it will bring up our, um, our view here where we can add all of the details of the assignment. So we can start with a title, all right, and then you'll provide some instructions for your students. Um, so that can um, be a whole host of different things. We will just put uh, something random in here. Here are some random instructions. There we go. Um, at this point as well, you can also add any type of reference material that you would like to for students. Uh, if you go to the add button, you will notice that there are a number of different choices for different files that you can add. You can add something directly from your Google Drive. Um, you can add a link, so for example, a website, um, a file. This would be something directly from your computer um, or a YouTube link. Okay, so those are the different types of files that you could add. Um, or say, for example, you didn't have anything already made, you could create something um, for your students to use. So if you click on create, you'll notice that there are a number of different options for things that you can create directly from the assignment. Um, so let's say here, we would like our students to work on a Google Doc. So we're gonna click on Doc and it is going to create that doc for us and then open it up in another window so that we can add any details to it that we would like to. Okay, so I'm going to um, put a title in here, assignment one doc, and I'm going to leave it blank for now because um, we're going to just have the, the students write on it. Okay, that's what we're going to plan for that one. So I can go back over to the tab with the assignment 
and I can choose how the students can interact with this file. So currently, students are able to view the file. So if they would click on it, they could see it, but they would not be able to change anything on it. We can change those permissions though. Um, we can choose to let students to edit the file, which means that um, they will all have access to that one document and everybody be able to um, add information on that one document. Or we could make a copy for each student, which means that um, each student gets their own copy of the file that you've provided um, and they will be able to make edits on their own copy and they are the only one that gets to edit that particular file. Okay, so those are the two, uh, sorry, I should say three different options that we have for any type of Google Doc, Google Slide, um, et cetera, that we might add. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it there for now for students can view the file. And I'm going to go over here and choose some of the other settings. Um, I can choose um, which Google Classroom it's going to be uh, posted to. Okay, so if there are multiple ones that I want to uh, post at the same time to, I can. I can choose which students um, are going to have access to this assignment. So I can have all students or I can uh, just have specific students that have access to this. I can choose a category, which I would have set up uh, in the initial stages of setting up my Google Classroom. Let's say we're gonna say this is a checkpoint. Okay, and what you'll notice here is that um, the point value automatically switched to 50. Okay, now this is because of how I set up categories during the initial stages of setting up my classroom. And once again, if you're not quite sure how to do that, um, I will link the specific video for you to be able to reference that so you know how to do that as well. I can choose a due date. And let's say, we'll say the 14th and a time um, you don't have to choose a time. You actually don't even have to choose a due date if you don't want to, um, but that is available for you to be able to choose. And you will choose the topic that this will sit under. Okay, so if you remember earlier, we created a topic called getting started. And so I'm going to choose that topic um, for this assignment to, uh, to sit under, okay? We are also able to add a rubric here at this point. Okay, and um, I will go over this more um, in depth in another video, um, but uh, this is, if you click on this button, um, you are able to create a rubric directly here in the assignment. You can reuse one that you've created in the past for another assignment, um, or you can import one from Google Sheets. Okay, and so if you want to add a rubric, that is the button that you press to be able to do that. Once you have gone through and you place in all of your details and um, you are good with all of the, the different settings for that assignment, um, you can go ahead and assign it directly, okay, by just clicking, clicking sorry, the assign button, or you can also have the option for scheduling it for a future time or saving it as a draft. Okay, so say for example, you're just not ready for it to go out, you have something else that you want to add to it, but um, you just wanna save it for now, you can save it as a draft. Um, if you want it to go out, say for example, you know, an hour later or on another day, um, you can schedule it ahead of time. Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to assign it. And there we have our very first assignment under our getting started topic. Okay, and so that's the first type of assignment. It's just your regular, regular average, everyday uh, type of assignment. We also have a few other uh, types here as well. Um, I'm gonna skip down here to uh, the question type. This one I, I do use with my students. Um, and here we can have, and uh, we place our question up here. What do you think is our question? Um, you can choose short answer or you can have a multiple choice, okay? So um, if you choose short answer, you would just leave it like that, or you can change it up to multiple choice, which will give you different options that you can add down here for students to choose from, okay? So let's leave it at multiple choice right now, and we'll put in a couple of options. There we go. Um, you can as well add resource files or create resource files for your students if you would like to on this question um, 
uh, just like with the, the other assignment type, you are able to do that. Um, and then over in our settings, we have mostly similar settings, okay? So which class we'd like to post to, which students, um, the category that we would like. Um, we can change that, let's say, we're gonna do an in-class task, 100 points. We're going to have that do, let's say the 15th. And once again, I'm going to put it under, actually, no, let me um, show you this. You can actually create a new topic directly from an assignment. So say, for example, you haven't created the topic ahead of time, um, but you realize, oh man, I need a different topic. You can uh, create a new topic right here. Okay, and so you just type in what the new topic will be. All right, and uh, we have that there and then you can also see whether you can also check whether or not students can see the class summary if this is checked other students will be able to see the summary of how everyone has voted in the multiple choice question or if you don't want them to you can uncheck that okay and once all your settings are finished once again you can ask or you can schedule or save the draft okay i'm going to publish that right away and uh, we can see here that the new topic has been placed up here at the very top with our question underneath, okay? Um, and say, for example, you, you wanted to keep getting started up at the top. You can actually click and drag your topic down below so that you can reorganize them. All right, so there we go. We have um, our regular average everyday assignment. We have a question type assignment. Um, we also have the ability to add materials. Uh, so this type of post is a little bit different. It's not specifically an assignment. Uh, it is something that you won't have a due date for um, or anything like that. But say, for example, you wanted to provide reference material for your students, uh, you can do that. And you can provide um, an explanation here if you would like to. We're just gonna put random stuff in there for now. And here's where you would add um, a file from your, uh, you know, your Google Drive, a, a website, file from your computer or a YouTube video, um, or you could create something directly from uh, the, uh, the post as well, okay? So um, those are all similar, as well as the settings over here, which classroom to post to, which students to post to, and which topic you're going to post to, okay? And so we'll put that in there. And once again, you can do a similar rearranging of topics by clicking and dragging within um, the topic there if you want them in a different order, okay? Um, you can actually even click and drag to a different topic if you would like to. So it's click and drag for organization purposes, however you would like to organize your uh, topics as well as assignments and materials. Uh, something else that you can do as well is you can reuse a post. Say, for example, uh, in a, another Google Classroom, um, you have created a post that you want to use in your current one. You can choose reuse post, and it will provide for you the different classes uh, that you have as a, as a teacher. Um, and then you can choose which one you would like to reuse a task from. All right, the other type of assignment that we have here is a quiz assignment. Uh, this is actually one that I don't use. Um, actually, I don't use it ever in my classes. Um, it is something that you can use. Um, what it does is it creates a blank Google form for you um, so that you can access that and just um, go ahead with your Google form and uh, create a quiz if you would like to. Um, I do find that by using the, the quiz assignment type, I've ended up with a few glitches along the way. Um, so actually, instead of using um, the, uh, the quiz assignment, I actually just post um, a regular assignment type, and then I will attach a Google form to the regular assignment type, and it functions in the same way. Um, so, but if uh, if this is a, 
um, an assignment type that you would like to use, you totally can. Um, that's what it does. Uh, when you click on that, it creates an assignment with a Google form that is automatically attached to it. All right, so there we go. A quick little overview of how assignment types work in Google Classroom. If you have any questions, if I forgot to um, add some information that maybe you were wondering about, Make sure that you comment in the, uh, the comments below and um, I will be sure to answer those questions as I get those notifications. All right guys, have a great rest of your day and I look forward to next week where we will continue talking a little bit more about Google Classroom.